on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. The moment introduces anamorphic lens for DJI drones. Sky Magic takes to the skies over the Zurich Festival. And New Air validates parachutes for Flytrex packages and drones. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. Moment, a company known for making add-on lenses for smartphones, is expanding their product line to include an anamorphic lens for DJI drones. The company launched a Kickstarter campaign for the lens that clips onto the existing camera installed on the DJI Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom. The lens allows the camera to capture a wider field of view and has the capability to add cinematic lens flares. The company says it reduced the weight of its existing anamorphic lens down to less than 50 grams by changing the housing from metal to plastic while still keeping the same glass. Moment was able to fly a Mavic 2 Pro in heavy winds with the lens attached, with no effect on the drone's performance. However, the lens must be attached each time you use the drone, and may not work well at all focal lengths. The current Kickstarter price is $199, and it will sell at retail for $300. Moment plans to ship the lenses to its first customers in November. All right, in the next Drone Minute, let's take a quick look at some stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. When you're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, and you happen to be the Academy of Model Aeronautics, what do you do? You launch a scale model Saturn V, of course. The folks at AMA had a successful launch this week, celebrating one of America's and mankind's greatest achievements. Back on June 18th, the partnership between FlyDrone, a hogfish venture company, and Volens Eye completed their first long-range UAV delivery in the Bahamas, with the goal to provide on-demand drone delivery services in the area. The delivery took 28 minutes, starting out at Abaco Aviation Services, a private FBO at the Leonard M. Thompson International Airport, and ending at Green Turtle K. What once would have required transit in a car and then by ferry, the drone's VTOL capabilities allowed it to land and deliver its payload without any infrastructure. Drone Shield has introduced Drone Gun MK3, a compact, lightweight drone countermeasure designed for one hand operation. It allows for controlled management of a drone payload, such as explosives, with no damage to common drone models or surrounding environment. Due to the drones generally responding via a vertical controlled landing on the spot or returning back to the starting point, with an immediate cease of video back to the drone pilot. A few members of the Aero News Network crew are already in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, preparing for the 2019 EAA AirVenture Fly-In. We will be producing dozens of stories live from the event for our website at aero-news.net, as well as daily episodes of Airborne Unlimited, which can be viewed at airborne-tv.net. Over the next two weeks, there will be no specific episodes of AMA Drone Report while we cover Oshkosh. We will go back to our regularly scheduled programming right after, so be sure to join us. Now back to the rest of the news. Sky Magic designed and delivered a drone light show for over a million spectators at this year's Zurich Festival. The synchronized swarm of 150 drones was launched from a floating pontoon in the middle of the lake custom built by the festival exclusively for the drone show. The opening scene saw the Zurich Festival Lion let out a huge roar, followed by a series of bold and compelling formations. The show was specifically designed with 3D formations, allowing the entire audience the opportunity to view the spectacular performance from every position around the lake. Zurich Festival takes place once every three years in Switzerland's largest city, 
with the goal of bringing people together. The festival offers a unique blend of old and new. With traditional food, DJ sets, audio-visual installations, family attractions, and now drones. Parachutes on the Israel-based drone company Flytrex delivery drones have been validated as compliant with industry standards, following testing by New Air at the New York UAS test site in Rome, New York. This is the second parachute standard validation performed by New Air. Flytrex's drone rescue system's M600 parachute is designed to reduce the risk of harming people on the ground by bringing down equipment safely in the event of a drone malfunction. Its patented mechanism deploys a parachute within milliseconds and only takes a few minutes to repack the system and relaunch the drone. The DRS M600 is equipped with a traceable black box, which stores flight data so in the event of a malfunction, it can be recovered and analyzed. Flytrex's testing of the DRS M600 parachute under new wear supports the recent announced by New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo of a New York-Israel partnership and the creation of a UAS Center of Excellence in the Mohawk Valley, which will be led by new wear. And that's our last story of the day. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and come back tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.